Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on Samaze, a mathematical problem solving game which is available for you to download for your mobile device for free from the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store. So I've downloaded Samaze here, I've got it on my iPhone, so I'm just going to start it up. And from the introduction page here, you can listen to music while you're playing the game if you want to, or you can press this button here to switch that off. And then if you press play, then you enter the game menu. Now here we are in the game menu. You can see that we've got various different levels under th certain themes, certain mathematical themes. Now I've unlocked all of the levels here, I've completed the game. When you first start, you have to start with the arithmetic levels at the top here. And as you work your way through, you unlock various different levels, working your way around anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. And the last set of levels to unlock are the Fermat rooms in the center, which are the most challenging set of levels. So I'm just going to show you the very beginning of the game, how you'd start this off. So let's have a look at arithmetic level one. Now this is very much just really guiding you into what you need to do. You actually control the blue tile here at the top. It always has a value on it. You can move it by just swiping your finger across the screen in the direction that you want it to travel. And the aim of the game is to get it to the goal area at the bottom where the tile will disappear, you'll complete the level, and then you'll move on to the next stage. Now as you go, as you collect these red tiles, you can see that the number will change on the blue tile. If I swipe down, then you can see that when I've collected the plus two, that adds two to my total on the blue tile. So one plus two gives me three, subtract one gives me two, multiply by three gives me six, and so on then onto the goal, and I've completed the level, and we're onto level two. Now on level two, you can see that there's a green tile here, which is like a gate. You have to have the value that is displayed on the tile, in this case six, in order to pass through it and then onto the goal. Now my tile, my blue tile currently has five on it so i need to collect the plus one five plus one gives me the six in order to be able to progress on through that gate and then onwards to complete the level on arithmetic level three now now if i try and pass through the gate with the number that i have at the moment which is two it won't let me go past i have to have five presented on there in order to go through and i've got two different choices of tile this time and I have to be careful in which order i collect these you can only collect the red tiles once you can only use them once per level so I'm going to collect them in the order of multiply by two first, two times two gives me four, add one will give me five and that'll enable me to pass through the gate. And as you can see, each level is getting gradually more challenging each time in terms of thinking about what you have to do. On arithmetic level four here, well, I'm going to show you what happens if you make an error. You can see here at the bottom, it says values above 1000 are not allowed. I believe that's true throughout all the levels on some A's. So if I just casually collect three of these multiplied by 10 tiles, you can see I've got a thousand and I can't progress any further and I can't make it to the goal and complete the level. So I've obviously made an error at some point here. So what I need to do is to press this reset or replay button here at the top in order to be able to go back to the beginning of the level. There's a home button here, which takes you back to the game menu as well but I'm not gonna solve this particular one. I will leave that for you to figure out how to solve that when you download the game. Let's go back to the game menu and I'm gonna show you some of the other different types of levels on here. Let's have a look in powers and let's have a look at level two. So you can see here on the gate, we've got equals 27. That means I must have 27 displayed on my blue tile. And I've got different choices of red tile here, multiply by three or divide by three. So if I collect two of these, you can see it presented in the way of three with an index of three, so three to the power of three. Essentially that is 27, and, and some levels it would be presented as the actual number. Now if I go down and collect the next tile, I'm going to be dividing by three, which will give me three squared or nine, which is not what I want. So I need to multiply by another three before proceeding. Uh, then I'll collect that divide by three, and then I'll have three cubed, and I can proceed through the gate and complete the goal. We go and on to level three and again I will leave that for you to have a go at once you download it let's come out and maybe have a look at one of the logarithms level let's have a look at level one now you can see here that we've got equals five on the gate to pass through and above that we've got a logarithm tile with a base of three and then a blank space and that blank space is going to represent 
the value on the blue tile and obviously we want that to equal to five so that when we then proceed through the gate we've got a value of five on the blue tile there and the arrow above that is a one-way arrow so once you've gone past that particular arrow you can't go back and collect any of the red tiles above there so you need to make sure that you've got the correct value on there before you go any further and above that we've got the red tiles we can see we've got multiplied by three so i'm thinking about logarithms with a base of three my base number's got to be three and if i think about starting with a value of one that's actually three to the power of zero or essentially three with an index of zero according to my laws of indices what i'd need there is a index of five so I, essentially i need to collect five of these red tiles before i go through the arrow and onto the log tile so let's click five through the arrow to the log that's given me five and then i can pass through the gate and onwards and there we've got level two there and again i will leave that for you to have a go at yourself there we go that's a maze so it's a really good game if you're studying or if you're interested in mathematics or even just problem solving games puzzle games Games where you have to think ahead, think strategically, think methodically. This is going to appeal to you. And it's very addictive. You'll find yourself wanting to complete just one more level uh, before you, you're putting your phone down. It does definitely get more challenging, more difficult as you progress through the game. And so if you're looking for any extra help, if you want to know anything on your calculator, which might be useful for some A's, I found that the solve feature was quite useful, as well as the fact feature which enables you to display a number as a product of its prime factors and also obviously for the logarithms level the log with any base button was useful as well so if you do get in trouble if you do get stuck it's worth looking at your calculator in order to be able to help you out with a few of those once again it's available to download for free from the ios app store or the google play store i'll have links below in the description for you to be able to download that so all that's left to say is uh, to have fun. It's a great game. That's Amaze and that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.